but how's it going kingsman welcome back to another napoleonic total war 3 battle i'm sure you guys have missed these as much as i have whenever i'm gone but we are back and uh we are on a 4v4 i've only seen a bit of this um didn't have time to watch the whole thing so you know this will be a an experience for all of us as you can see we have some portuguese skirmishers giving some volleys to the french of course, this is, uh, you know, like I said, a 4v4 with a UK 9-pointer along with a bunch of Russian and Russian-Austrian armies. You have a 9-point Russia, 9-point Russia-Austria, and actually all, all two 9-point Russias and one 9-point Russia-Austria, so all 9s. Um, on the other side, you have the French. I know there is an Egypt in one of these French armies. Um, don't know a whole lot about the other ones. We have a force artillery that's like setting up. As the French are marching down here, the UK holding this line. Um, there's a lot of nice choke points here, a lot of rivers. I mean, you can't cross anywhere, but still, you know, it's a good line to hold. You can see the Russians setting up here. Um, France actually pushing across, scouting maybe a little bit with some shat. Oh, no, these are some Lancers. Yes, some Lancers kind of scouting ahead. Um, Austria, Russia, I'm just going to call these guys the Austria, Austrians. Um, they are pushing a bunch of cavalry forward, a lot of Lancers here. So they are going to try to scout out the French advance, see where they are. You can see a lot of cavalry here, a lot of Dragoons. Ooh, some Guard Dragoons as well. Actually, no, not the Dragoons, sorry. These are just Guard Cavs, some Heavy Cav, some C3s. Actually, they have two of them across here over here, too. So, yeah, they are bringing the Russia, bringing the good quality cap. Um, UK setting up their forward line here. Skirmishers kind of shooting down the French, but the French are pushing up some skirmishers of their own. It looks like some, uh, well, I was about to say some Polish, but no, it's not. Just because yellow has, I mean, anything. Um, Cavalry kind of hovering close to these skirms, but I think he should have his cab way closer if he wants to really save his cavalry from getting charged, or his skirmishers from getting charged here. Oh, there's even some cavalry pushing up. I would definitely start pushing this cab forward, turning the skirmisher to face this cab. This cab's going to go in for a bayonet charge, or a cab charge, and uh, probably probably get the skirm unit. This guy is way too far away. But yeah, skirmishers are pushing forward. They're going to get a good eyes on Without taking heavy losses. Oh, here we go. We got the cavalry charging. These poor skirmishers definitely gonna die here. The first clash here. As Egypt, France, Egypt. Push board here. These cavalry be a little too slow. They're C5s. And they're gonna fall back and um yeah. So the UK are going to hold around these two LOCs. Uh, they have their Coldstream Guard in both the... Oh, no, they have foot guards in this one, but Coldstream Guard in this one. Um, Russia is shifting over this direction, and there's more Russians um, coming to the center. They obviously want to hold this LOC. It's kind of like a line along this whole riverfront they want to hold. They, they got one army, though, pushing way over on the right. Good mixture of Austrians in this line as well. Actually, a lot of Austrians. So, very shooty build. But they have some melee. They will do something to the enemy, I am sure. Oh, we have some cavalry maybe trying to go for an artillery piece. Horse artillery. Maybe. Um, yeah, some Chasseur Cheval. The French line, though, guys, is starting to push forward here. You can hear the drums. We have three French armies right in this area, and then one way over on this side. But you can see the skirmishers for France. Nice, chunky skirm units. Um, but yeah, they, they've set up in this kind of high ground. They do have some of the high ground. Set their artillery up here. It's a gentle slope, but it is in their favor. Um, on the Russian coalition side... They have a slight slope as well, so, you know, both sides will have some favored ground. Of course, a dip down once you get into the riverbed, which is pretty natural, you know. That's pretty That's pretty normal to see, like, the river slowly pulling the ground in as it carves its way through the countryside. 
but yeah, and we have Russia just kind of forming up in the center. Um, he is pushing over artillery, it looks like. I don't know if the UK have artillery. Yeah, they do. Um, but it's kind of in a dangerous position. I would have it falling back way more. I would have it behind. I would have it right here. Because cav, infantry, anything can rush down this road. And you don't have a lot of good ways to get defensive positions up. Um, these skirmishers are going to get charged again. I think they came back. Oh, that's unfortunate. France is getting some good charges in. Pretty early on, getting some easy kills with their Mamelukes. More and more skirms. Uh, so the skirms should... You should have infantry right here to form square. And then the skirms right next to them. That's the easiest way to do this. And we do have some cavalry potentially. Going to try to go for some skirmisher units. But he should be running at this point. He's still walking. He needs to run. Like, he needs to be running. And I would pull back right now. You're not going to make it. Although he did cause a little friendly charging here. The French charging through their unit. Our men are running for oh, yeah. Uh, Portuguese Cav, as you've heard, I'm sure people have heard me say before, not the greatest. It really isn't. And uh, this reason, oh no, France is going to counter charge. Go for the artillery piece. And this is why you don't have it right up in front of your line. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. It's a Portuguese artillery piece. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't. Oh, I don't think it was too expensive. Um, yeah, Austria is pushing over uh, their Cossack Lancers, Dragoons. They're trying to flank, maybe even... I th they're going for a long flank here. They're going all the way down this road. Maybe they're going to collapse on the flank. I don't know. That could be their decision. This battle's taken a while, especially considering how close the French are. I'm surprised they haven't gotten closer yet. They seem to be taking a very slow approach. They have the artillery set up. But it's very far, like the infantry is not close. Maybe it is, it just, there's no scouting. So you don't know where the French actually are pushing. UK using the buildings though as kind of a shelter of sorts here. Holstring guard definitely gonna be quite dangerous in this house. Oh, you can see him right here. Just watching out, ready to take a shot at whoever they see. Oh. Oh, again? Skirmisher's getting caught again. This line infantry really needs to... Oh, here we go. So the French are pushing up here. They've gone across the river. You have a lot of French. They're going to advance and take on this UK position. And we have firing already happening now. The Coldstream Guard taking some shots. The Guard, all of them taking shots at the advancing French army. And uh, you can hear the drums, so you know there's a lot of more French troops pushing up here. Oh, the UK should stay where they were. They aren't going to get the first volley off. Hopefully they still will. They need to get some volleys, because this Karasier unit is going to be a problem for them. But yeah, see, they don't get the first volley, but that's okay. They're going to return some fire here. Probably start dropping some of this French line already. You can see some casualties of this fight. Yeah. These Karatsiers would be so much better used against the Russians than against all these squares. So yeah, Coldstream in reserve. Are they taking some damage already? Yeah, they're taking some losses already. But here we go. Here is the French advance. A lot of French pushing in the center. Russia is going to have their hands full. They are, of course, shifting over more towards the left side of the center. And they need this other Russia maybe to take some room in the center here. Maybe. Um, the Austrians also pushing all of their troops across with the artillery. They are going to take up this right flank. Now, who knows? It doesn't look like the French. Maybe the French are sitting here. So then... Maybe they'll have 2v1 on this right flank. Maybe they can push this right flank. But France is engaging with real purpose here. As, oh, Egypt even on the fray. This is a huge Grenadier unit they have. I'm not mistaken. And it is pushing up on the flank. 
UK, you're gonna have to be very careful here. They do have some natural uh, defensive points using the LFC here. This Coldstream Guard, I'm sure, is already firing. Come on, fire. I'm watching. Fire. Fire. <laughs> Why won't you fire? <laughs> It's like, I'm being watched, so I can't fire. Seriously, you're not gonna fire? Really? Embarrass me in front of everybody? Alright, fine. Don't fire. Alright, yeah, so the UK have fallen back to the guns once more. I mean, this gun should be in a good position. They're Prussians. Some Athula combat gen. Now we are seeing some forces take shape here on the flank. Oh man, France is strung way back here. They shouldn't be all the way back here. There's nothing facing them. Is this guard? This is Voltigeurs. Some good quality infantry and it's just sitting way back here. Austria's not even close. France needs to be scouting, but they don't seem to have a lot of cavalry. Interesting. They're being very defensive and not very aggressive. Now, they are pushing over on this side, but oh boy, they are taking some heavy losses to that artillery piece. That Prussia has firing. Real question is, are they going to go for this LLC? They are softening up with some artillery. Um, they have some light infantry, I believe. Nothing happening in the center, guys. Nothing. They guys are just staying stagnant. And uh, Russia is able to... Like, the coalition seems to be able to move forces at will. Um, you can see they're kind of shifting more into the center. I mean, if France collapses... If they have troops right here and they advance right now... And advance right here as well, they will catch the coalition totally off guard. They have nothing in the center. Now, of course, the coalition doesn't know that. These guys are all hidden. Which is why some skirmishers pushing up here for France would be a good idea. They'll be able to see a lot of the enemy. They also can skirmish, shoot down. This is just a lot of... Not as aggressive of plays as I would like to see from the Imperial side. And they have some cavalry. But I don't see a lot of lights from either side. I see a lot of mid-tier stuff. How are you supposed to scout if you don't bring light cab? You know, I mean, they have some... The Dragoon's own. These guys could be able to scout. Now, hold on. We do have uh, some Lancers, I guess. But Lancers don't really scout as well. Now, where are they going? Oh, they're going to go for some suicide charges against artillery. It's not going to work. You got to ignore the artillery. You got to attack where they're not. And the Coalition didn't even bring that many guns. I'm kind of getting the feeling, though, there's some newer players here with artillery sitting right in between smack dab and the line. It's very... That's that's a very... What? How do I say this? It's a newer strategy, because having your guns in the front line is just... You're just asking for someone to kill them. You're asking for somebody to cab charge in or to set the line up and start volleying them. It can't be effective, yes, to punching holes in the enemy's lines, but imagine if you, the lines were right here and you had an open space where you could shoot. Now, the enemy could try charging through. They're going to get volleyed first, and then you have cab or reserves sitting there that can have another volley or another, you know, cab charge and drive them back. Still nothing really happening, guys. I mean, they're just shooting back and forth. Artillery getting very dangerously close to the Coldstream guard. Look at that. It literally stopped right there. These guys are like, whoo, that was crazy. And it hit this line back here somehow. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Well, the Coldstream Guard leading a charming life, what can I say? The French are starting to mass up quite a bit more than they were before. 
Got some grenadiers pushing forward here. They're gonna try to go for this house, I'm assuming. They've also pushed up a little bit more towards Russia. Um, we still have some forces here, but man. Oh, come on, France. Russia, Austria, and France are just kind of sitting, doing nothing, hoping the other will move, make a move. If you see an enemy just sitting there, like Austria, Russia, I would shift over half my army and help out in this side where the fight is actually happening. Let them sit on their hill and let their allies die. If you see someone just sitting there, that means they are going to be a... This, this, this French army is doing nothing but helping out the enemy because they are not moving. They're just sitting there. They're letting the enemy decide where to attack and defend. And obviously, they just kind of don't want to attack. Which means as long as you put one or two... Keep your artillery here. Keep one or two infantry here. Just keep shooting. Make cav and maybe a couple infantry just to show that you're still there. But trick them. Leave your gen there. Send a bunch of forces over here to reinforce. That's what I would do immediately. If someone wants to camp a hill, I'll let them. <laughs> just attack where they're not. And then you can basically destroy all their allies and then go and hit them as hard as, you know, possible. And they will not be able to win. Take advantage of your enemies being passive. Do we have... Oh, we may actually have some engagement here. The French going in for a charge. Oh my goodness, the door has been opened and they are point blanking this poor Coldstream Guard. These guys just standing here like, oh, are they about to charge? Are they going to? Oh, France is shooting their own men in the back. I would have gone in on melee. They're just point blanking it, but they are dying faster than they are. Oof. And they're going to fall back here. That's a wise choice. They need to either take this LSC or fall back from it, but don't keep engaging it. There's an interesting build that the French have here for sure. Artillery getting capped. Oh my god. Oh no, not. Oh, they didn't. France managed to save their artillery, but now they are stuck on this hill and they are definitely not going to budge. And yes, they are doing it. Austria. Oh, I'm so happy to see this. They are going to shift over, hopefully, reserves, maybe even take the center and let this Russian army. Basically, Russia, Austria could hold this whole side. This whole Russian army could push over here. And they could really start counterattacking the French as they're starting to commit into this house fight. But it does look like France is going to attack this house. Oh, the sappers took it. Now that's going to drive a, a big old wrench into the... Uh, that's gonna that's gonna screw the UK's defense quite a bit if this LOC is gone. Because now France can actually advance past this LOC without getting shot in the in the flank or in the rear, technically. Um France does look like they're going in for melee, which oh don't do it. They are not gonna make that. The UK need to pull back. Building, did they wait, did they retake it? They did, they retook it. All right, they just got to keep pulling troops into this. Get some Russians up here. Get some Russian... Does Russia have any guard units? A Russian guard nearby would be beautiful. But we do have some engagement now as uh, the fight seems to be kind of trickling down. Oh, UK shooting their men in the back. Oh, the Rangers got shot in the back, but more of them pushing forward. They're going to volley the skirmish. It's almost point blank. I hope. I really hope to see that. Oh, Crossier is charging. Oh my goodness. France is really pushing this side, guys. They are getting extremely aggressive. Still going for this house. They are going fully engaged here. The coalition is attacking here as well. Oh, the French rush across the river. These rangers need to get themselves back. The LOC can hold for now. France really, really pushing back. They are leveling this LOC. Nothing else happening but Austria, Russia pushing troops over here. 
Hopefully Russia now starts pushing in troops. They really need a hold here, and they're doing a really good job. France getting a little too aggressive here and actually getting shot up in the process. They are basically pulling the French into a big old killing zone. You can see the massive breaking. France not doing too well even over here. Their forces taking some losses. But they do have artillery up in the front lines. Our men are running. And I'm sure, I'm sure over time this is going to start going in their favor. If they can keep pushing troops forward, just how many troops are they going to lose in the process of pushing in this kill zone? Oh my goodness, they're sending in camels, more and more infantry pushing across the river, going in against the French or the the UK. Ooh, oh they are they are they are pounding the French. France is kind of getting caught up in these houses, man. They're pushing a lot of troops. Nice counter charge by Russia. Oh my goodness, this is turning into an all out melee in the streets. And France keeps pouring across more and more forces here. And they're kind of engaging in a line, a line fight here with Russia. But yeah, this is looking to me like, this is madness. Cavalry now getting engaged as well. But the UK are starting to have some wear and tear here. As France has, I mean, they still have to take this LOC from these Grenadiers. Oh my goodness, guys. France is breaking. They are winning, but they are also losing, he taking heavy losses while making this push. And, oh wow, massive break here. Oof, they leveled this LOC, which means the Grenadiers are dead. The Foot Guards are dead, but maybe it was worth it, you know? Maybe it was worth it. They held that, that one pointer. Um, still an engagement for this other one. France still trying to push, not really being successful here. They need to take, like, France needs to pull back on this side and push across right here. There's too many units routing. That morale deep up that France has is just going to keep trickling down to other units here. Oh, we have Kazaki's charging lines. Oh, no. Cavs got volleyed up. Oh, we have a guard unit here. Pushing in maybe to help out. Coalition managing to hold their ground still. The men of fatigue, sir, must rest away. Man, I haven't seen all the French engaged, I don't think. Oh. Hopefully this horse chili gets out of here. These grenadiers can engage, smack it into some French. This square trying to hold. Ooh, shoot, taking out some camels. But now the French, man, this is so weird. Both sides seem to be just getting outtasked here. They're getting overwhelmed. Both sides not even giving charge orders, just kind of standing next to units. The the it is the multitasking is getting real. Now, now that France has gotten those routing units out, they can now re-engage and re-attack here. I think they were starting to get a triggered mass route. Um, they are pushing Russia pretty hard here. They need to keep pushing across the river. I would push across with all these forces, push reserves, push cab. They have gotten a foothold here, even pushing here. They need to move quickly. France. I think they're shifting their forces over. I hope they are. If they sat on this hill and watched their center cave, then uh, they deserve to lose. <laughs> uh, you know, just saying. You, you can't you can't expect to hold it. Now, I, I'm, I hear drumming, so I'm sure they're going to shift over and hold the center. If they don't hold the center, they're definitely going to lose. I mean, they've taken some heavy losses. 
But things seem to be stabilizing a little bit for them, maybe. Egypt is pushing up their huge units. Oh, a nice cap charge by the Dragoons. France really, or not France, UK really starting to feel the hurt. The Russian reserves, though, looks like we got some musketeers, some, some Prussian units pushing up here. But they are not able to form square. They need something to defend. Um, ooh, here we go. You got the Russian counterattack here. Russia and Austria shifting over from this side. Hopefully, they can make a real stand. Um, because France is going to have some really good units here. And France still has the artillery sitting right here. These guys are going to be able to fire on the flank. That'll probably be a big deal. And it's good to see that they're kind of staying together. Both sides. But yeah, Russia, Austria is going to start getting into hopefully a slug match. Where they can shoot. Oh, that's going to hurt. That is really going to hurt. Yeah, they, they, they definitely took some losses there. Oof. But they can start taking, they can start dishing it out too, you know? Men are running, sir. Swinging back over here where Russia is now cab charging in with their Dragoons. France, ooh, man, there's this, this is a laggy game. I apologize for that. Okay, what, what, uh, what is happening, Russia? What are you doing? There's some obvious orders being given that are causing some losses here. You gotta... France has actually pushed way deep into enemy territory, even getting behind the UK, using this road to push forward. Capture to be trying to save this line so they can fall back. Oh no, France is now swinging around to attack the Russians who are a counter charging here. We got a huge cab engagement. Crossier is engaging. What is going on? <laughs> Did Russia or France go for melee? It is hard to tell. France went for melee. They're sending in Polish troops. Oh no, Russia, don't lose this. The cab really needs to come in clutch here. If you get a view here, France, they need to push these troops across. If they want to seal All this melee, running, they need to push these troops down. Push them down, get in the melee, send this cab in against Russia with infantry. Because Russia's center is breaking. Now they do still have some good units here. Um... Ooh, that's a little bit. Now nah, that this is two units on one. That is okay. Oh, Any more, and you will start having a blob effect. France has a lot of reserves. They are so ready to take this fight. And they seem to actually be uh, winning this fight now. Russia and the UK really starting to lose here. Nice bayonet charge if Russia can take this back and they can really push back. They have cavalry going in as well. Oh, come on. Russia, make that push. Oh my goodness, so much happening, guys. France is still going in on Russia. And Russia has been utterly defeated. The rest of Russia, Austria, actually getting about half his army across the river. So not a total loss. He still will be able to uh, make a stand. But nine point Russia got thrown back quite viciously with infantry and cav cycle charges here. Now this guard unit with the crosshair is still making a glorious stand. Throwing back France, and France has a lot of troops in this fight, but they are, and they are starting to flank here. Can Russia really save this flank? That is the question here. They have lines, still the UK's Coldstream Guard here, cavalry. Oh no. Oh no, Russia. Constantin is dead. And uh, now Russia is just totally annihilated in the center. Another general? Holy cow. 
Bargachev is dead too. Things are things are going against the coalition right now, guys. France seems to be as uh, passive as they were. They seem to be doing well now. I think Russia, they were aggressive. Oh, look at this. France is shooting their troops in the back. If Russia can get themselves back across the river and hold, maybe they can save this, you know? They have this side, they have a river, they have artillery still. They can hold this side. If they can consolidate, if Russia can fall back, oh, this guard is getting shot real hard. They need to keep falling back. They need to fall back all the way to this river. France is winning on this side too, guys, so they definitely need to uh, reconsolidate. Oh, I think France is going to win this battle. Oh man, that is unfortunate. That is hugely unfortunate. This Coldstream Guard in melee here. And it uh, looks like he was giving a marching order and walking right into the French. Now the loss is here, the carnage. French pushing their troops across one long line. Sir, your general has been killed. This is a black day. And the UK general is dead. So the question is, guys, do you think Let's see, let's count the points now, because this is going to go towards, the coalition going towards LOC now. They did have this one. They, the units died while it was getting blown up. So they do have it. Oh, I forgot. I think I didn't mention, this is, this is the map Heilsberg. Obviously, it's right here. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> map Heilsberg. So, that's one point so far. Two points. So far, the coalition technically had more points. Uh, the French only have the one point. But there is still time left. There's 24 minutes remaining. France has plenty of time to still go for other LOCs. Russia is probably going to have a retreating fight here now. And now the battle having ended on this side is shifting over to this side. Oh, come on, Cav. No. Gosh dang it. <laughs> oh man, why? We have killed their general, sir. Now oh. they must break. Wow. His general was trying to farm some kills and got killed. <laughs> That's just kind of funny. Actually, it looks like a French player may have dropped because this Cav's doing some weird stuff here. Yeah. Not sure if it was like the small French army that was left. I think it's just this French army, which is basically they're 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 pretty gone. They did their they did the job they were supposed to in uh there's nothing really left. The real fight now is over on this side where actually Austria, Russia is pushing troops across. Trying to maybe get a counterattack going. I don't know where the majority of the French army is now. I don't know if it's just this one in the center. Um, they do like they're a little more powerful, but they're still a decent sized coalition army. So let, let's 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 see how this plays out. Maybe Russia. Let's see, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit here. Maybe Russia can hold LOCs. Oh, actually, we got a cap charge. Some Lancers getting chopped up. Oh, no. Oh, Russia, stop them there and shoot. Now, let's see if Austria can really do well here. Austria. 
could maybe chop down the French to size here. Oh, this artillery, though, is just totally destroying this flank. The Austria's gonna start losing just because of that artillery, guys. This, this cab hopefully can get up here quickly enough. I would have pushed him over to this side so the guns have to turn because from here to here, it's gonna be pretty easy to turn. Um, but man, they are actually starting to really chop up the French. Look at this. The French having some morale problems. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. If Russia can take these guns out, this is it. Ah, they're not gonna, they just got canistered twice. Oh man. Well, there goes that one, uh, that one attempt. However, it did distract the guns. Maybe they don't give them enough time to be able to attack here. If they had pushed the cab across here, even if it was one or two more volleys, the artillery would give, and then they ran across. There's no way these guys would be able to turn and face them. Um, you can see, though, France is getting torn up here by France. Or, did I, what did I just say? Did I see France getting torn up by France? Wow. Austria is tearing up France right now in this line fight, but France has plenty more now pushing across. This battle is now a 2v2 as half of both sides are just uh, gone. Oh. They're in the perfect place. They're in the perfect place. Oh my goodness, if they could just march up, they're hidden. If they can just march up here, France is totally facing the wrong direction, guys. Do I hear, oh, I hear infantry, don't I? Oh no, the Paris Grenadiers, or the Paris Guard. These guys are gonna win, hands down, gonna win, as France is now shifting, oh my goodness. Yeah, Austria needs to run as fast as they can. They have a reserve line set up. Hopefully they can stop France before they get across the river. There's Cav just sitting back here. These Kazakis could have run up and get, got this artillery. They could even go for like a back charge here. Both, like even even France, man. What? What? I'm confused. I am very confused because this French army is just standing here. Unless they're resting up the troops, which they could be doing. That's a actual good reason to just stand there. Um, that could be what they're doing. They're just resting them up. With uh, France winning on the side, they probably don't even need to worry too much about it. I'm gonna fast forward. Oh, hold that thought. I was about to say I'm gonna fast forward a bit, but we have, excuse me, we have a cab that ran across. Maybe took out some uh, something, or just is running away. Actually, that's exactly what it's doing. It tried to take something out. And uh, we have Russia pushing once again across the river here. I guess, you know, go down with honor. Go down with glory and honor. That's the word, right? France is going to uh, probably go against the remains of Austria. Yeah, and there's infantry already. Some uh, guard grenadiers, some Italian grenadiers going to charge in, hopefully. Oh, I slow motion did instead. I think it's a pathfinding issue here. You got a melee against Austria. You can't shoot them. Look at these guys. Look how fast they're shooting. They are dropping this guard unit so fast. That is a good volley, though. I've seen some very questionable strategies, I'm not gonna lie. Like, just ignoring units, it's it's weird. 
it is weird. It's not the most perfect game you'd ever see, you know. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't always get them. I always, do, I don't always get the the uh, plays here. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna fast forward at this point. It's just, it's just a last stand here by France or by Austria. Who, like I've said before, guys, very good at shooting. Um, unfortunately, I don't think they're able to do a significant amount of shooting. Um, Russia does better at melee than shooting, I'd say, but they brought a good shooting build. These guys will shred up the French so fast. You can see how many units they dropped. So many in that short space of time. And now they're falling back. Um, they still have this LLC held by a light infantry unit. Like I said, I'm just going to keep fast forwarding here. Um, unless something good happens, it's just kind of a last stand at this point. And uh looks like France, like I said, France is playing interestingly, interesting. It's interesting. It's, it's almost like, and it could be that they're new players, and there's nothing wrong with new players um, in NCW3. In fact, it's awesome when you have new players, but it is obviously always rough when new players get in, because it is a lot. I mean, if you watch my first streams I ever played, I probably had units just standing there because I forgot about them. You get so invested in parts of the battlefield, you you forget to like the bigger picture to look up, and look around and add different units. Your mind has to be in a couple of different places usually, especially in battles like this. I mean, especially if you're trying to support allies, you're bouncing around all over the place, and um, it can be rough. And there's definitely uh, something to be said to uh, those who can do a very good game. And we have seen those. And this was this was a fun game. I'm not sure I say it's not, but um, there definitely was some some delays in some advances. And uh, maybe because I installed the new patch, we are actually not going to see the end of this. But that's interesting. Yeah, I'm assuming it's because I installed the newest patch for Lords. Which, by the way, go get that patch because the game just kind of froze here. Unless they just ended it there. I'm not sure. But we're not going to see the end. However, I do have the results. So let's just pull those up. Because obviously we're not getting any further here. That's kind of weird. Uh, so let me, let me get the results real fast. All right. So here are the results here. So this one was sent in by Pan. Um, or I don't think it was actually sent in by Pan. I think it was uh, Dondu. Which maybe that's Pan's name in Discord. I don't know. But uh, thank you for that. Um, you can see here the UK got 1717 or 1777 for the kills. The other Russia got 1894. But then the other two didn't do amazing. You had eh, 945 is pretty good. And then a 599 is, is not bad considering you get meleeed and charged by like a whole French army. Um, but they on the French side you have um what, 8 point Espana with 884, uh, Egypt with 699, 11 point France with 80, 1834, so obviously got some really good kills there, and then uh, 9 point France Flanders with 513. So, um, yeah, and that will be the game for today, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for joining me. I will uh, catch you all in another video.